Hi, so I'm Casey Woodring. I'm the team lead for our game Laugh Attack, which is a 2.5D multiplayer fighting game where you get to play as a jester against another jester and you're fighting because there's a king, he's really bored, and he wants some amusement. He, he's above these jesters, but what he can't do is make them fight for him. So he gets these jesters to be punching for his comedy. He tosses down some comedy props for them to throw at each other. It's a good time for this king. He's, he's having a blast. So our screen that we're sharing right now is of our game, Laugh Attack, and you'll see our ready menu. Um, and in this screen, as players get ready by pressing the shift button, we have controls using arrow keys and using WASD. And this goes into a cutscene where it explains the story that I already talked about. Now, what they're showing is the controls of our game and how players can fight. As you saw, the banana got tossed down as a comedy prop that was able to be thrown. We have our two jesters, Red Jester and Blue Jester, that can fight against each other on this theater stage. And once a player loses all of their health, which is demonstrated in our funny bones, because the loser's not funny enough, so their funny bone runs out, the other player gets to win. And for this, you get to show the winner screen and all the credits for our wonderful team that went to make this. If you look above on the screen, there's the king who will laugh and clap whenever the players take damage as he's enjoying his lowly jester's misery. So that is our current game, uh, the alpha of our game, but we have a lot of big plans for it. So let me share a little PowerPoint that we cooked up. Um, here we go. So, our game is Laugh Attack. And let me, there we go. So, with Laugh Attack, our game, as I said, is the multiplayer 2.5D fighting game. And here's some pictures of it on the side where you're winning the favor of the king in this theater by throwing comedy punches, comedy props or punches to defeat each other and make the king laugh. Some of our inspiration included uh, new shows such as the Amazing Digital Circus for things like colors and the little jester hat. There's party animals for the uh, characters' bodies and models. Fireboy and Water Girl for our current um, motion and controls. And Super Smash Bros for the fun fighting aspect that it provided. Now what you're really here to see is our future plans so, we are planning on introducing a story mode to our game, which introduces new skins and new stages, which you can see on the right hand of the screen. Some including a parade, some including the Knights of the Round Table, where you can fight there, and our little knight is shown on the side. We're thinking about adding better controls, because right now it's just two players playing on a keyboard, but we're thinking of adding controller capabilities so that you can play a little bit separate as much as the physical fighting of the game is fun along with the virtual fighting. We're adding improved audio with one of our new members working with voiceover to add little cutscenes before our story mode to really enhance the story of this king's boredom and the jester's fighting. We've got an excellent UI artist working on making the game navigation a little bit easier, a little bit cleaner. You can see an example of that in the top left part of the pictures on the side of the different things that we plan to include in that. One of which being accessibility, because right now our jesters are red and blue. Uh, we know that may cause issues with people who are colorblind and we want to reduce that as much as possible. So we're working on adding features where you can change the colors of the screens that you're seeing or change key binds in case to fit your better needs for your body when you're playing the game. 
And we're also working on adding online play. So if you want to compete in a little tournament, maybe you can join your friends online to play this game. Now, for releasing the game, we're thinking about releasing it to Steam, um, as it's a very popular website. And there's so many great games on there already. And we've already been working on our social media to get all our, the hype built up for this game. You can follow us at Interstitching on everything. And you can see our little studio screen to the right there. Now, our team is a bunch of lovely people that you can see pictured on the screen, um, except James, he had work. But <laughs> we have all of our 2D artists, 3D, writers, audio programming, and organization who are all bringing this idea to life. And some of this, we might need some other people for our team. We know our limits. So having other people to come in and help us with writing or checking over our writing to give feedback would be important. Like I mentioned before, we're reaching out to people for voiceover and narration for the cutscenes, And then our team's not very familiar with the legal side of game development. So we're also looking for people to help us with that. If you want to follow our news, like, you, like I said earlier, for all of our um, advancements on the game, we're at Interstitching Everywhere, Twitch, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, everywhere. And you can even play the game right now on itch uh, on the link that I've shown to the side. Now, are there any questions from the audience about this game? Great presentation. A lot of excitement in the chat. Really enjoying yeah. that. Uh, Laugh Attack is peak. They're so rad. Let's go Laugh Attack. One uh, interesting comment from uh, Kano Mag Fury on YouTube. Some VXF, VX, VFX, and camera shake could really help sell some of the punches. So let's talk about that. The special maneuvers, I worked on Street Fighter long, long ago, Street Fighter role-playing <laughs> game. But uh, the special effects were a key part of making that game as popular as it was. What would you, right. what are you thinking about in terms of really cool maneuvers, really cool effects? So right now we've added um, a little bit of confetti for when you throw a prop and it hits another player just to really indicate that damage is being done in still a sort of silly way. But we are thinking of adding camera shakes to the um, game whenever damage does occur. This was an idea brought up in our group to improve our game so right. we are have been looking into that actually all right dasu shiman on twitch comments definitely feel party animal vibes haha -ha. what do you think of this as a party game yeah, this is absolutely a party game. I actually know one of our members has already brought it to a group, which they played at a party, and all gave some really good feedback on in terms of certain bugs in our alpha that we needed to fix and have since fixed. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a good party game. And that's also why we, why we want to add online play so that the party can be on the road. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Sean, I don't see you in Discord or chat from Galore, but I think we got another group that could use your help on networking. Uh, so you do have a pretty big team in place. Any concerns about trying to keep this size of a team on track together? Yes. So we've had a lot of organizational stuff going on. Our Trello board, uh, me and another member, Katie, were working on it literally earlier today with our mentor, trying to make sure everybody has a task to do, make sure our scope is not too big for this game. Uh, and we've got Google Docs, organizing everything, Excel sheets. It's It's been a lot of organization, but since organization has been my main focus of the team uh, while I've been doing work for, uh, just occasional work for other parts of the game, organization has been my main focus. And I think having somebody specifically for organization has really helped our team thrive. Yeah, needs a project manager. Everybody needs a producer. Some incredible owl in uh, on YouTube named Valencia Coleman asks, in party animals, a lot of things happen in the background. Do you plan on doing the same? 
Yes, actually. So one of our new stages that we're adding is a boat and we're planning to have it rock. And we already have some of the animations of the crew members in the back of the boat moving along, one's peeking up over the side of the edge of the railing. Um, but yeah, and you'll definitely be able to see some of that in some of our advertisements that might be coming out soon on our social media. So follow, follow, follow. <laughs> Good plug. Um, Everyone here remember how to plug like that. Rib no. Rob asks, have you all thought about making the players ragdoll, for, not the players, the avatars, ragdoll for extra fun body flopping? Don't make the players ragdolls. Uh, the avatars ragdoll for extra fun body effects. I learned how to make them myself recently and be happy to show you how. Oh, that would actually be sick to hear about. We were thinking about adding that when we first um, were coming up with the idea of the game to increase a little bit of the funny factor. Um, but yeah, we'd love to hear it. Um, if you're in the GGDA Discord, please feel free to message me once we're done with that. Or otherwise, um, I can find you in the Twitch chat history um, if you want to put your like Discord in there. That would be great, actually. Yeah. All right. Tivu on YouTube says, producer, let's go. Shadowling says, sometimes I feel like a ragdoll in real life. <laughs> Dasu Shiman asks a really good question on Twitch. What does the storyline look like for the game so far? But we are out of time. So go ahead and start following them and let's get that information. All right. We are going to bring the next team in. We'll go away for a minute and we'll be back, I hope, in one to two minutes. Thanks, everyone, for great questions.